Handy resource indeed, your field guide. It'll wear off in a few hours, I think. You think? It didn't before. That other boy was like it for a week. A week? I I don't feel well. Oh, stop fretting. We'll have you with Nurse Blaney in no time. <gasps> I've just realised. What? What is it? I have an essay I need to finish for bins. Two inches. Merlins, I haven't done mine either. Uh... What? <sighs> don't leave me here. Did you memorise the dates of magical discoveries and goblin rebellions? Not yet, no. Where are you going? You can't leave me here! You'll be fine. I'll check on you tomorrow. Tomorrow? Uh! Billy Wigsting, you'll be a week like that. How inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Anything to do with the dark art should be avoided. It's too risky. Anything to do with Salazar Slytherin is worth the risk. I can't agree. And I'll not say a word more. I'm sorry. I won't give up. What were you and Ominous speaking about? He's being ridiculous. Apparently Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here in Hogwarts. Omina swears it was used for the Dark Arts, so he wants nothing to do with it. I reminded him that Anne needs a cure. This scriptorium could hold the answers we need. The Dark Arts do pique my interest. There's more to dark magic than people realize. The Gaunts know this. Better than most. Perhaps I've spoken out of turn. Ominous's family history is personal to him. I'd like to know more about it, if you wouldn't mind telling me. I won't repeat it. Very well. But do keep this between us. Ominous learned dark magic from his parents. Are you familiar with the Cruciatus Curse? What does the Cruciatus Curse do? It's known as the Torture Curse. Crucio. It inflicts intense, excruciating pain on the victim. Apparently. His parents and older siblings had no qualms about casting us on muggles for sport. Ominous described the sound of the victim's cries as horrific, so the first time he was asked to cast it himself as a child, he couldn't bring himself to do it. As punishment, his family cast it on him. The anguish was so bad that when asked to cast it again, he relented. I have repeatedly assured Ominous that he did what he had to, but he still hasn't forgiven himself. How horrible. Poor Ominous. He was only a child. He shouldn't blame himself. After that incident, the rift between Ominous and his family only grew. That is until I came along. Every moment he isn't at Hogwarts, he's with us in Feldcroft. 
Ominous trusts me. And more often than not, he winds up listening to me. I'll remind him of that when I follow up about the scriptorium. Watch for my owl. I'll have news soon enough. I'll make Ominous understand. He'll change his mind. <laughs>